In mathematics, a metric space is a set together with a metric on the set. The metric is a function that defines a concept of distance between any two members of the set, which are usually called points. The metric satisfies a few simple properties. Informally, the distance from a point to itself is zero. The distance between two distinct points is positive. The distance from A to B is the same as the distance from B to A, and the distance from A to B directly is less than or equal to the distance from A to B via any third point C. A metric on a space induces topological properties like open and closed sets, which lead to the study of more abstract topological spaces. The most familiar metric space is three-dimensional Euclidean space. In fact, a metric is the generalization of the Euclidean metric arising from the four long-known properties of the Euclidean distance. The Euclidean metric defines the distance between two points as the length of the straight line segment connecting them. Other metric spaces occur for example in elliptic geometry and hyperbolic geometry, where distance on a sphere measured by angle is a metric, and the hyperboloid model of hyperbolic geometry is used by special relativity as a metric space of velocities. History In 1906 Maurice Frechet introduced metric spaces in his work Sur Quelk's points du calcul functional. However the name is due to Felix Hausdorff. Definition A metric space is an ordered pair m d where m display style m is a set and d display style d is a metric on m display style m ie a function d m times m r display style d colon m times m to math b r such that for any x y Z element of M display style X Y Z in M. The following holds. The first condition follows from the other three. Since for any X Y element of M display style X Y in M, the function d display style d is also called distance function or simply distance often d display style d is omitted and one just writes m display style m for a metric space if it is clear from the context what metric is used ignoring mathematical details for any system of roads and terrains the distance between two locations can be defined as the length of the shortest route connecting those locations to be a metric there shouldn't be any one-way roads. The triangle inequality expresses the fact that detours aren't shortcuts. If the distance between two points is zero, the two points are indistinguishable from one another. Many of the examples below can be seen as concrete versions of this general idea. Examples of metric spaces The real numbers with the distance function d x y equals y minus x display style d x y equals vert y x vert given by the absolute difference and more generally Euclidean n space with the Euclidean distance are complete metric spaces. The rational numbers with the same distance function also form a metric space, but not a complete one. The positive real numbers with distance function d x y equals log y x display style d x y equals vert log y x vert is a complete metric space. Any normed vector space is a metric space by defining d x y equals y minus 
x display style dx y equals l vert y x r vert See also metrics on vector spaces. If such a space is complete, we call it a Banach space. Examples: The Manhattan norm gives rise to the Manhattan distance, where the distance between any two points or vectors is the sum of the differences between corresponding coordinates. The maximum norm gives rise to the Chebyshev distance or chessboard distance, the minimal number of moves a chess king would take to travel from x display style x to y display style y the british rail metric also called the post office metric or the sncf metric on a normed vector space is given by d x y equals x plus y display style d x y equals l vert x r vert plus l vert y r vert for distinct points x display style x and y display style y and d x x equals 0 display style d x x equals 0 more generally display style l vert r vert can be replaced with a function f display style f taking an arbitrary set s display style s to non negative reals and taking the value 0 display style 0 at most once then the metric is defined on s display style s by d x y equals f x plus f y display style d x y equals f x plus f y for distinct points x display style x and y display style y and d x x equals zero display style d x x equals zero the name alludes to the tendency of railway journeys to proceed via london or paris irrespective of their final destination if m d display style m d is a metric space and x display style x is a subset of m display style m then x d display style x d becomes a metric space by restricting the domain of d display style d to x times x display style x times x the discrete metric where d x y equals 0 display style d x y equals 0 if x equals y display style x equals y and d x y equals 1 display style d x y equals 1 otherwise is a simple but important example and can be applied to all sets this in particular shows that for any set there is always a metric space associated to it using this metric any point is an open ball and therefore every subset is open and the space has the discrete topology a finite metric space is a metric space having a finite number of points not every finite metric space can be isometrically embedded in a Euclidean space. The hyperbolic plane is a metric space. More generally, if M is any connected Riemannian manifold, then we can turn M into a metric space by defining the distance of two points as the infimum of the lengths of the paths continuously differentiable curves connecting them. If x 
Display style x is some set and M display style M is a metric space. Then the set of all bounded functions f x M display style f colon x right arrow M, i.e. those functions whose image is a bounded subset of M display style M can be turned into a metric space by defining d f g equals sup x element of x d f x g x display style d f g equals sup underscore x in x d f x g x for any two bounded functions f display style f and g display style g where sup display style sup is supremum this metric is called the uniform metric or supremum metric and if m display style m is complete then this function space is complete as well if x is also a topological space then the set of all bounded continuous functions from x display style x to m display style m endowed with the uniform metric will also be a complete metric if m is if g display style g is an undirected connected graph then the set v display style v of vertices of g display style g can be turned into a metric space by defining d x y display style d x y to be the length of the shortest path connecting the vertices x display style x and y display style y in geometric group theory this is applied to the Cayley graph of a group, yielding the word metric. Graph edit distance is a measure of dissimilarity between two graphs, defined as the minimal number of graph edit operations required to transform one graph into another. The Levenstein distance is a measure of the dissimilarity between two strings u and v defined as the minimal number of character deletions insertions or substitutions required to transform u display style u into v display style v this can be thought of as a special case of the shortest path metric in a graph and is one example of an edit distance given a metric space x d display style x d and an increasing concave function f 0 infinity 0 infinity display style f colon 0 inf t right arrow 0 inf t such that f x equals 0 display style f x equals 0 if and only if x equals 0 display style x equals 0 then f d display style f circ d is also a metric on x display style x given an injective function f display style f from any set a display style a to a metric space x d display style x d d f x f y display style d f x f y defines a metric on a display style a using t theory the tight span of a metric space is also a metric space the tight span is useful in several types of analysis the set of all m display style m by 
n display style n matrices over some field is a metric space with respect to the rank distance d x y equals r a n k y minus x display style dx y equals mathrm rank yx the heli metric is used in game theory topic open and closed sets topology and convergence every metric space is a topological space in a natural manner and therefore all definitions and theorems about general topological spaces also apply to all metric spaces about any point x display style x in a metric space m display style m we define the open ball of radius r greater than 0 display style r greater than 0 where r display style r is a real number about x display style x as the set b x r equals y element of m d x y r display style b x r equals y in m d x y these open balls form the base for a topology on m making it a topological space explicitly a subset u display style u of m display style m is called open if for every x display style x in u display style u there exists an r greater than 0 display style r greater than 0 such that b x r display style b x r is contained in u display style u the complement of an open set is called closed a neighborhood of the point x display style x is any subset of m display style m that contains an open ball about x display style x as a subset a topological space which can arise in this way from a metric space is called a metrizable space see the article on metrization theorems for further details a sequence xn display style x underscore n in a metric space m display style m is said to converge to the limit x element of m display style x in m iff for every e greater than zero display style epsilon greater than zero. There exists a natural number n such that d x n x e display style d x underscore n x for all n greater than n display style n greater than n. Equivalently, one can use the general definition of convergence available in all topological spaces. A subset A display style A of the metric space M display style M is closed iff every sequence in A display style A that converges to a limit in M display style M has its limit in A display style A Topic Types of metric spaces Topic Complete spaces A metric space M display style M is said to be complete if every Cauchy sequence converges in M display style M. That is to say, if D X N X M zero display style D X underscore N X underscore M to zero as both n display style n and m display style m independently go to infinity then there is some y element of m display style y in m with d x n y 0 display style d x underscore n y to 0 Every Euclidean space is complete, as is every closed subset of a complete space. The rational numbers, using the absolute value metric d x y equals x minus y display style d x y equals vert x y vert are not complete. 
Every metric space has a unique up to isometry completion, which is a complete space that contains the given space as a dense subset. For example, the real numbers are the completion of the rationals. If x display style x is a complete subset of the metric space m display style m, then x display style x is closed in m display style m. Indeed, a space is complete if f it is closed in any containing metric space. Every complete metric space is a bare space. Topic: <laughs> Bounded and totally bounded spaces. A metric space M is called bounded if there exists some number r such that d x y r for all x and y in M the smallest possible such r is called the diameter of M the space M is called precompact or totally bounded if for every r greater than 0 there exist finitely many open balls of radius r whose union covers M since the set of the centers of these balls is finite it has finite diameter from which it follows using the triangle inequality that every totally bounded space is bounded the converse does not hold, since any infinite set can be given the discrete metric one of the examples above under which it is bounded and yet not totally bounded. Note that in the context of intervals in the space of real numbers and occasionally regions in a Euclidean space, R n display style R caret n a bounded set is referred to as a finite interval or finite region. However boundedness should not in general be confused with finite, which refers to the number of elements, not to how far the set extends. Finiteness implies boundedness, but not conversely. Also note that an unbounded subset of R n may have a finite volume. Topic compact spaces A metric space M is compact if every sequence in M has a subsequence that converges to a point in M this is known as sequential compactness and, in metric spaces but not in general topological spaces, is equivalent to the topological notions of countable compactness and compactness defined via open covers. Examples of compact metric spaces include the closed interval 0, 1 with the absolute value metric, all metric spaces with finitely many points, and the Cantor set. Every closed subset of a compact space is itself compact. A metric space is compact if f it is complete and totally bounded. This is known as the heine borel theorem. Note that compactness depends only on the topology, while boundedness depends on the metric. Lebesgue's number lemma states that for every open cover of a compact metric space M, there exists a Liebesgay number delta such that every subset of M of diameter every compact metric space is second countable, and is a continuous image of the Cantor set. The latter result is due to Pavel Alexandrov and Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Topological compact and proper spaces A metric space is said to be locally compact if every point has a compact neighborhood. Euclidean spaces are locally compact, but infinite dimensional Banach spaces are not. A space is proper if every closed ball y, d, x, y, r is compact. Proper spaces are locally compact, but the converse is not true in general. Topic: <laughs> Connectedness. A metric space M display style M is connected if the only subsets that are both open and closed are the empty set and M display style M itself. A metric space M display style M is path connected if for any two points x y element of M display style x y in m there exists a continuous map f 0 1 m display style f colon 0 1 to m with f 0 equals x display style f 0 equals x and f 1 equals 
y display style f1 equals y every path connected space is connected but the converse is not true in general there are also local versions of these definitions locally connected spaces and locally path connected spaces simply connected spaces are those that in a certain sense do not have holes topic <laughs> separable spaces A metric space is separable space if it has a countable dense subset. Typical examples are the real numbers or any Euclidean space. For metric spaces but not for general topological spaces, separability is equivalent to second countability and also to the Lindelof property. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Pointed metric spaces. If x Display style x is a non-empty metric space and x zero element of x display style x underscore zero in x then x x zero display style x x underscore zero is called a pointed metric space and x zero Display style x underscore zero is called a distinguished point. Note that a pointed metric space is just a non-empty metric space with attention drawn to its distinguished point, and that any non-empty metric space can be viewed as a pointed metric space. The distinguished point is sometimes denoted zero. Display style zero due to its similar behavior to zero in certain contexts. Topic: Types of maps between metric spaces. Suppose M1, D1, and M2, D2 are two metric spaces. Topic: Continuous maps. The map F M1, M2 is continuous if it has one and therefore all of the following equivalent properties: general topological continuity for every open set U in M2. The preimage F minus one U is open in M1. This is the general definition of continuity in topology. Sequential continuity if Xn is a sequence in M1 that converges to X in M1, then the sequence F Xn converges to F X in M2. This is sequential continuity, due to Eduard Heine. Epsilon delta definition for every x in M1 and every epsilon greater than zero there exists delta greater than zero such that for all y in M1 we have d1 x y delta d2 f x f y epsilon display style d underscore 1 x y this uses the epsilon delta definition of limit and is due to Augustin Louis Cauchy moreover f is continuous if and only if it is continuous on every compact subset of M1 the image of every compact set under a continuous function is compact, and the image of every connected set under a continuous function is connected. Topic uniformly continuous maps The map F, M1 M2 is uniformly continuous if for every epsilon greater than zero there exists delta greater than zero such that D1 X, Y delta D2 F X, F Y epsilon for all X, Y element of M1, display style D underscore 1 X, Y every uniformly continuous map F, M1 M2 is continuous. The converse is true if M1 is compact Heine Cantor theorem. Uniformly continuous maps turn Cauchy sequences in M1 into Cauchy sequences in M2. For continuous maps this is generally wrong, for example, a continuous map from the open interval 0, 1, onto the real line turns some Cauchy sequences into unbounded sequences. Topic Lipschitz continuous maps and contractions given a real number k greater than zero. The map f m1 m2 is k Lipschitz continuous if d2 f x f y k d1 x y for all x y element of m1 display style d underscore 2 f x f y leq k d underscore 1 x y quad m box for all quad x y in m underscore 1. Every Lipschitz continuous map is uniformly continuous, but the converse is not true in general. If k d f x f y d x y for all x does not equal y element of M one display style d f x f y. Topic isometries. 
The map F M1 M2 is an isometry if D 2 F X F Y equals D 1 X Y for all X Y element of M 1 Display style D underscore two F x F Y equals D underscore one x Y quad M box for all quad x Y in M underscore one Isometries are always injective. The image of a compact or complete set under an isometry is compact or complete, respectively. However, if the isometry is not surjective, then the image of a closed or open set need not be closed or open. Topic: Quasi isometries. The map F M1 M2 is a quasi isometry if there exist constants a1 and b0 such that 1 a d 2 f x f y minus b d 1 x y a d 2 f x f y plus b for all x y element of m 1 Display style frac one a d underscore two f x f y b l e q d underscore one x y l e q add underscore two f x f y plus b text for all x y in m underscore one and a constant c zero such that every point in m two has a distance at most c from some point in the image f m one. Note that a quasi isometry is not required to be continuous. Quasi isometries compare the large scale structure of metric spaces they find use in geometric group theory in relation to the word metric topic <laughs> <laughs> notions of metric space equivalence given two metric spaces m1 d1 and m2 d2 they are called homeomorphic topologically isomorphic if there exists a homeomorphism between them i.e., a bijection continuous in both directions. They are called uniformic uniformly isomorphic if there exists a uniform isomorphism between them i.e., a bijection uniformly continuous in both directions. They are called isometric if there exists a bijective isometry between them. In this case, the two metric spaces are essentially identical. They are called quasi-isometric if there exists a quasi-isometry between them. Topic: <laughs> Topological properties. Metric spaces are paracompact Hausdorff spaces and hence normal. Indeed, they are perfectly normal. An important consequence is that every metric space admits partitions of unity and that every continuous real-valued function defined on a closed subset of a metric space can be extended to a continuous map on the whole space extension theorem. It is also true that every real-valued Lipschitz continuous map defined on a subset of a metric space can be extended to a Lipschitz continuous map on the whole space. Metric spaces are first countable since one can use balls with rational radius as a neighborhood base. The metric topology on a metric space M is the coarsest topology on M relative to which the metric D is a continuous map from the product of M with itself to the non-negative real numbers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Distance between points and sets, Hausdorff distance and Gromov metric. A simple way to construct a function separating a point from a closed set as required for a completely regular space is to consider the distance between the point and the set. If M D is a metric space, S is a subset of M and X is a point of M, we define the distance from X to S as D X S equals INF D X S S 
element of s display style d x s equals inf d x s s in s where inf display style inf represents the infimum then d x s equals 0 if and only if x belongs to the closure of s furthermore we have the following generalization of the triangle inequality d x s d x y plus d y s Display style d x s l e q d x y plus d y s, which in particular shows that the map x d x s display style x maps to d x s is continuous. Given two subsets s and t of m, we define their Hausdorff distance to be d h s T equals max sub D S T S element of S sub D T S T element of T Display style d underscore h s t equals max sub d s t s in s sub d t s t in t, where sub display style sub represents the supremum. In general, the Hausdorff distance d h s t can be infinite. Two sets are close to each other in the Hausdorff distance if every element of either set is close to some element of the other set. The Hausdorff distance dH turns the set K M of all non-empty compact subsets of M into a metric space. One can show that K M is complete if M is complete. A different notion of convergence of compact subsets is given by the Karatovsky convergence. One can then define the Gromov Hausdorff distance between any two metric spaces by considering the minimal Hausdorff distance of isometrically embedded versions of the two spaces. Using this distance, the class of all isometry classes of compact metric spaces becomes a metric space in its own right. Topic: <laughs> Product metric spaces. If M one D one M N D N Display style M underscore one D underscore one L dots M underscore N D underscore N a metric spaces and N is the Euclidean norm on R N then M one times times M N N D one D N Display style big M underscore one times L dots times M underscore N N D underscore one L dots D underscore N big is a metric space where the product metric is defined by N D one D N X one X N Y one Y N equals N D one X one Y one D N X N Y N display style N D underscore one D underscore N big X underscore one L dots X underscore N Y underscore one L dots Y underscore N big equals N big D underscore one X underscore one Y underscore one L dots D underscore N X underscore N Y underscore N big and the induced topology agrees with the product topology. By the equivalence of norms in finite dimensions, an equivalent metric is obtained if n is the taxicab norm, a p norm, the max norm, or any other norm which is non-decreasing as the coordinates of a positive n-tuple increase, yielding the triangle inequality.
Similarly, a countable product of metric spaces can be obtained using the following metric d x y equals i equals 1 infinity 1 2 i d i x i y i 1 plus d i x i y i Display style d x y equals sum underscore i equals one carrot inf t frac one two carrot i frac d underscore i x underscore i y underscore i one plus d underscore i x underscore i y underscore i. An uncountable product of metric spaces need not be metrizable. For example, r r display style math b f r carrot math b f r is not first countable and thus isn't metrizable. Topic: Continuity of distance. In the case of a single space M d display style M d, the distance map d M times M r plus display style d colon m times m right arrow r caret plus from the definition is uniformly continuous with respect to any of the above product metrics n d d display style n d d and in particular is continuous with respect to the product topology of m times m display style m times m Topic: Quotient metric spaces. If M is a metric space with metric d, and tilde is an equivalence relation on M, then we can endow the quotient set M tilde with the following pseudo metric. Given two equivalence classes x and y, we define d x y equals inf d p. One Q one plus D P two Q two plus plus D P N Q N Display style D X Y equals INF D P underscore one Q underscore one plus D P underscore two Q underscore two plus D O T S B plus D P underscore N Q underscore N where the infimum is taken over all finite sequences P one P two P N Display style p underscore one p underscore two dots p underscore n and q one q two q n display style q underscore one q underscore two dots q underscore n with p one equals x Display style p underscore one equals x q n equals y. Display style q underscore n equals y q i equals p i plus one i equals one two n minus 1 display style q underscore i equals p underscore i plus 1 i equals 1 2 dots n 1 in general this will only define a pseudometric ie d x y equals 0 display style d x y equals 0 
does not necessarily imply that x equals y display style x equals y however for nice equivalence relations eg those given by gluing together polyhedra along faces it is a metric the quotient metric d is characterized by the following universal property if f m d x delta display style f sad face m d long right arrow x delta is a metric map between metric spaces that is delta f x f y d x y display style delta f x f y l e q d x y for all x y satisfying f x equals f y whenever x y display style x sim y then the induced function f m x display style overline f colon m sim long right arrow x given by f x equals f x Display style overline f x equals f x is a metric map f m d x delta display style overline f colon m sim d long right arrow x delta a topological space is sequential if and only if it is a quotient of a metric space. Topic: Generalizations of metric spaces. Every metric space is a uniform space in a natural manner, and every uniform space is naturally a topological space. Uniform and topological spaces can therefore be regarded as generalizations of metric spaces. If we consider the first definition of a metric space given above and relax the second requirement, we arrive at the concepts of a pseudometric space or a dislocated metric space. If we remove the third or fourth, we arrive at a quasimetric space, or a semimetric space. If the distance function takes values in the extended real number line R, plus infinity, but otherwise satisfies all four conditions, then it is called an extended metric and the corresponding space is called an infinity display style infinity metric space if the distance function takes values in some suitable ordered set and the triangle inequality is adjusted accordingly then we arrive at the notion of generalized ultrametric approach spaces are a generalization of metric spaces based on point to set distances instead of point to point distances a continuity space is a generalization of metric spaces and posets that can be used to unify the notions of metric spaces and domains a partial metric space is intended to be the least generalization of the notion of a metric space, such that the distance of each point from itself is no longer necessarily zero. <laughs> metric spaces as enriched categories The ordered set R can be seen as a category by requesting exactly one morphism a b display style to b if a b display style g e q b and none otherwise by using plus display style plus as the tensor product and zero display style zero as the identity it becomes a monoidal category r display style r caret asterisk every metric space m d display style m d can now be viewed as a category m display style m caret asterisk enriched over r display style r caret asterisk set of m equals m display style operator name of m caret asterisk equals m for each x y 
element of m display style x y in m set hom x y equals d x y element of ob r display style operator name hom x y equals d x y in operator name ob r caret asterisk the composition morphism hom y z hom x y hom x z display style operator name hom y z o times operator name hom x y to operator name hom x z will be the unique morphism in r display style r caret asterisk given from the triangle inequality d y z plus d x y d x z display style d y z plus d x y g q d x z the identity morphism 0 hom x x display style 0 to operator name hom x x will be the unique morphism given from the fact that 0 d x x display style 0 g q d x x since r display style r caret asterisk is a pose all diagrams that are required for an enriched category commute automatically see the paper by f w lawva listed below topic see also space mathematics metric mathematics metric signature metric tensor metric tree norm mathematics normed vector space measure mathematics hilbert space hilbert's fourth problem product metric alexandrov rassius problem category of metric spaces classical wiener space Glossary of Riemannian and metric geometry Isometry, contraction mapping and metric map Lipschitz continuity Triangle inequality Ultrametric space Notes <laughs>